Thank you, and thank you all for putting on this, uh, this event. It's uh, very informative. Um, Element uh, Genomics is developing drugs for common human diseases uh, through the manipulation of a vast and newly discovered uh, biology, which is known as the epigenome. And I'm going to spend the next few minutes unpacking uh, that statement uh, for you guys. And when I'm done, I hope uh, you're as excited uh, about what we can do as uh, we are. As you uh, all might know, most of you know, uh, most diseases have a strong genetic component. Diseases like heart disease, diabetes, cancer, psycho, uh, psychiatric diseases, autoimmune diseases, uh, and so forth. So what do we, what do we mean, oops, what do we mean uh, by that? And uh, to, um, to get into that a little bit, we've done this cartoon which shows your whole genome here, 3.2 million bases, and within that uh, there are some genes, 30,000 or so genes. Uh, now when we say it has a strong genetic component, it means that genes which make proteins are making the wrong amount of a specific protein, either too much or too little. Uh, and indeed, most drugs uh, that have been developed over the last 40 years have been um, uh, targeting, whoops, backwards, have been targeting a uh, protein that's mis misexpressed, either the protein or the protein's pathway. And this has been a great uh, value to humanity. We've uh, eradicated some diseases. We've uh, really knocked down the uh, effect of other diseases. However, the approach is not always effective. Uh, for example, you can't increase the amount of a protein uh, that uh, is being underexpressed. And some of these proteins are undruggable. There's not any little crook or cranny in there that a small drug can um, stick to. So at Element, at Element, we're doing things much differently. Remember in the earlier, uh, in the earlier cartoon, I showed that this was 3.2 uh, billion bases. That's 98% of the genome. It used to be called uh, the um, junk DNA, or the dark matter of the genome. Today we know that, uh, and this is just recent, that that um, dark matter consists of regulatory elements. And these regulatory elements can be used to turn genes on and off, either via, via CRISPR sorts of techniques, as you've probably read in the popular press, or uh, by small molecules. And it's a vast new biology. Uh, it's an a, a, a unexplored um, area of uh, chemistry relating to that biology. Um, so you can start drugging undruggable oncogenes by simply turning off uh, the gene regulatory elements, or you can uh, turn gene function up to get uh, more of a response. Now, most of the drug discovery tools uh, that have been invented to date for pharma don't work in this arena. I've got a list of some of the uh, things that you have to master before uh, working here. Uh, and includes CRISPR and high throughput genomics assays and so forth. And these have all been developed at Duke uh, by four professors who were among uh, the founding team. And you can see on this slide here that discrete elements of this overall uh, platform have been published in very high profile journals like Nature and Cell and Genome Research and all of that kind of stuff. So these four faculty members, Charlie Gersbach, Greg Crawford, Chris Wood, and Tim Reddy, have published about 150 papers on these sorts of techniques. Uh, they've raised 140 million or so in NIH grants, uh, lead large uh, consortia, and so forth. And the best people in their labs are now our uh, uh, scientists uh, that have helped us get this company started. We're in four basic areas. I know it seems like a lot, but we haven't started to focus yet completely. One, for cardiovascular disease to turn off uh, a protein that's hard to drug uh, that raises LDL levels. You've turned off that 
uh, protein and you've got with a small molecule and it's a multi-billion dollar uh, market. Two, uh, we're working on undruggable oncogenes, which are the basis of most uh, solid tumors. We've been able to do that in primary human cells, and these are also multi-billion dollar markets uh, targeting some of the most devastating diseases. For rare diseases, we're actually upregulating a gene to uh, make a protein which results in better outcomes and uh, for, for patients and reduced symptoms, and we're also working in the area of immunology. So just basics, we raised five uh, million dollars uh, from uh, Piedmont Ventures and Atlas, uh, excuse me, Arch Venture Partners, oops, that was a mistake. Uh, and uh, we've been in business for uh, a little over a year now. Uh, we have lab operations in downtown Durham, six uh, PhD scientists, and uh, running on those four programs. Each of those programs is, has a CSO that is one of the scientific uh, co-founders. Our, um, our uh, medicinal chemistry effort is handled by former uh, GSK, uh, vice presidents in medicinal chemistry. And so just to summarize, uh, understanding uh, gene regulatory elements is leading to the uh, discovery of new disease therapy. These th to, to discover this, you have to master a very large uh, multidisciplinary tool set. Uh, we're a spin out from uh, Duke University and the first to harness this tool set uh, to produce proof of concept results and uh, we really hope to address uh, major unmet clinical needs in the near future. Thank you.